Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 13 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add uh, this one right here. And then we added all of the lights and then we edited this uh, stairs to have lights on it. So now we're gonna continue working on this. So I'm gonna go to ground and let's add in the sidewalk. And then also we're going to add in the street. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to architecture, click on floor, and then here, let's edit, duplicate, and this, this will be floor number five. And let's change this one right here. So let's go to concrete material, apply OK, and then OK. So here, we're going to connect it here, like so. We're just going to make it bigger. So we have a sidewalk here and then a sidewalk on this side. So I think this is good enough. I think we could put 15,000. And then after that, let's go around here because we already have some grass here. SL DR there we go not sure where we ended with the this one right here but we're gonna double check later on so I'm gonna push it all the way here and then click finish here we need to trim and extend so there we go I'm going to edit this one. This is floor number four. And then edit this boundary so that it goes all, all the way here. So that's done. We have the grass and then we have here. So for some reason, this one is all the way there. I think this is because it, it has an offset again. So by doing this, we don't have, this is flush. So that's good. You don't have to worry about that. Let's add in the grass floor on the side. And at the back and then here we're going to trim this and trim that and then trim this so now everything is good click finish that's for the back and then as you can see this is all grass we can actually add another grass on this side there we go so that looks good right there so we have grass there and then now we're going to create another grass uh, another floor but it will be offset to negative 100 or actually 100 No, um, it will offset to 100, edit, duplicate, this will be sidewalk, edit this one, 100, and then here, choose another concrete material.
and then now let's just add sidewalk here you want to do is 2000 and then on this side 2000 as well and then we need to cut it here and then cut it here on this side there we go SL on both side here and then now trim and extend And then here, let's fillet art this. Around 1500 to be consistent on both sides. So that's 1500 already. Click finish. Let's look at it at 3D to see if it's looking good. And I like the way that looks, so that's perfect we're not done yet we can make it nicer by adding some um, detailed on here but here actually we need to edit this boundary right here because we do have a grass here so let's go to ground you know what for the grass part, I'm just going to add it on this side. Trim, oh, S offers, then trim, and then see it, and then actually. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to model something here just to make it look nice I'm just going to do a model in place generic model extrusion change this to a concrete material And then here, I'm just going to add something like this to make it look nice. Let's maintain this one to be 50. And then you use trim and extend. delete that and delete this and then here click finish we could just move it above and then lower it a bit there we go then actually I can see that this one is not touching there so let's edit this boundary right here for some reason it's not sh there's a gap here but here it's showing everything is there let me investigate this more that's because I was using 
this part right here instead of the one below. So I'm just going to edit this one a bit. So instead of this one, it needs to be that one. I'm going to align it, AL. Click finish. And then here, edit. Let's push this one all the way here. And then I'm going to use that one to align it. There we go. And then this one it just needs to go all the way there. So now that looks much better. And it's simple, but looks much nicer. And then everything is aligning properly. Okay, so now let's go and do some model in place again. This will be generic model. And I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sweep. Pick path. I'm going to choose this one and then go around here after that click finish edit profile let's change this material to another concrete material i'm gonna copy that so that we could use that on the the other two sidewalk so I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this, do this, and then do this. Trim and extend. Trim and extend right here. And then here. Fillet arc this, 15, and then fillet arc here, okay, so I'm going to copy this, and then click finish, and then finish. So that's looking good there and then we do it on the other side great sweep big pad select this one edit profile paste that Okay, great finish, same concrete material, and then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing, great sweep, big pad, edit profile, paste it and then we could just mirror this delete this move it and then click finish and then finish and then finish again and there you have it we have a sidewalk and with some detail on it it looks much better as you can see looks smooth and nice so now let's go to level one again and here we're going to add or we're going to add rooms but before that let's 
um, click on room separator so that we could separate this so here we could do this one as kitchen and then this one we can do this one as dining area and then living area um, we have we have this one that's enclosed so using this you'll be able to um, do something uh, with the room so for example here I could put this one as living and then now this is your um, foyer and then this is your living so now what we can do is go to level 2 and here it's good enough well, we don't need to actually do some room separator so now let's click on rooms and then we can actually make this one our carport we have our foyer we have our this one is our living living area and then powder room dining area and then our kitchen and then we could even add this one as our can say backyard so or yard technically it's not at the back so this one is dining this is kitchen carport foyer this is our living and we have our powder room let's go to level 2 and then we can go to architecture again and then click room we have our room here this is corridor this is our family or this is just this is basically this washroom right here that they could share and this one is the masters ensuite and then here this is a good example of having a room separator so that we could put walk-in closet there so the room separator you just need to um, connect it to uh, a wall so now here this will be the common washroom this will be bedroom one and room two corridor this is ensuite walk in closet master's bedroom and then we already have everything added of course um, in the uh, in the next video we're gonna change the scale when we're adding it to the sheet so basically that's our our next uh, next task on the next video so thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below